non-conference match we were looking forward to seeing all week, and St. John's and Perrysburg most certainly impressed. But in the second half, Titans found another gear, Nick. Yeah, they did. They were really impressive in the second half, really clinical. Finally found ways to open up Perrysburg consistently, created a ton of chances, and and consistently put the ball in the back of the net with five goals in the second half. They have to be happy with that. But the Yellow Jackets, especially in the first half, the spacing seemed sound. And when St. John's maybe wasn't as strong on the ball, Perrysburg was able to create some chances, had some near misses, but they hung tough with the Titans through at least 40. That's right. The opening half for Perrysburg was quite positive, I felt. They got on the ball quite a bit. They, they really tried to implement their play style, which is possession-based, trying to get themselves on the ball. And unfortunately for them, St. John's just found themselves in the, those additional gears in the second half and proved to be ultimately too much here for Perrysburg tonight. Five different goal scorers in that second half for St. John's, but Ion, Ion morton Wisgin was the ace tonight, at least accounting for three of the goals with a goal and two helpers, but he is a true difference maker in that midfield. Absolutely. He is absolutely fantastic receiving the ball out wide, trying to cut himself into space through the center consistently. He was so calm, so composed on the ball there in moments in the second half where he was really toying with the Perrysburg defenders, having himself really a, a game that he can be very, very happy with. And obviously then to get himself the goal and the couple assists that he did here tonight, he's, he's going to be very pleased with his performance. Well, Perrysburg does fall to 8-4-2. and two. They still are having a tremendous season. They only had five wins a year ago. Their next game against undefeated Southview on Tuesday. St. John's, the schedule doesn't get any easier. Now 8-2-2, two and two, but they're at Anthony Wayne on Saturday.